Hello dear students welcome back to e classes of statistics standard 11th in this video we will be continuing exercise 6.2 with sum number 11 let's read question number 11 a person has six friends in how many ways can he invite at least one friend to his house so here in the question it is mentioned at least one we already have learned or studied about the meaning of at least one at least one means minimum one or more than one so if he has to invite six friends in how many ways he can invite at least one friend that means he has an option he can invite one friend also or he can invite two friends or he can invite three friends or he can invite four or five or six so he has an because at least one means minimum one or more than one so the combination can be if he invites one friend it will be 6c1 he has also option or he can invite two friends then it will be 6c2 or if he invites three friends it will be 6c3 or four friends it will be or it is or it will be plus it will be 6c4 or 6c5 or 6c 6. So, this can be the total combination of inviting 6 friends, of inviting at least 1 friend to his house. So, let's solve this combination and be more clear. So, let's solve this combination 6c1 plus 6c2 plus 6c3 plus 6c4 plus 6c5 plus 6c6. The value of 6c1 is 6. 62 can be taken out 6 into 5 upon 2 into 1 that is 15 team 63's value can be taken out 6 into 5 into 4 upon 3 into 2 into 1 that will give you 20 64's value can be taken out 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 upon 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 15 and the value of 65 is 6 value of 66 is 1 and if you add all this you will get 63 so here the answer is 63 let's solve the next sum let's read sum number 12 in how many ways five books can be selected from eight different books so that a particular book is always selected second a particular book is never selected so there are total eight books out of that five books are to be selected so the first condition is a particular book is always selected suppose there are eight different books these are the books two three four five six seven eight these are eight different books one two three four five Six, seven, eight. So if this is the that particular book that is always selected, so this will be one book, and one book is particular that is always selected, that will be one C one. Remaining there are seven books. The seven books are there. Now in the question it is mentioned five books are to be selected. So one is already selected. So remaining seven four will be selected, that will be seven C four. So the combination for the first condition a particular book is always selected that will be 1c1 into 7c4 let's solve the next condition so let's read second condition a particular book is never selected that means suppose there are eight books two three four five six seven eight if this particular book is never selected that means remaining there are seven books and how many books you have to select five books so out of seven we have to select five that will be seven c five so this is the combination for second condition a particular book is never selected now let's solve both the combinations so the combination for the first condition is 1c1 into 7c4 the value of 1c1 is 1 and 7c4 can be written as 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 upon 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 when you solve this the answer is 35 so the 
Answer for the first condition, a particular book is always selected is 35. Let's solve next combination. And the combination for the second condition is 7C5. That can be written as 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 upon 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 5 into 4 into 3 will be cancelled with 5 into 4 into 3. What remains is 7 into 6 and in denominator is 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. So 7 into 3 is 21. So the answer for second condition, a particular book is never selected is 21. So here we have done sum number 11 and 12. Go through the sums, revise it properly. Thank you.